Hey guys. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys just a really basic telekinesis exercise. And I'm not a master by any means. I'm just a beginner, but it's a fun little exercise. I've shown a lot of people how to do it and it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. So to start, first I want you to get a crystal, small crystal, or you can get a rock. If you don't have any crystals, you can go outside and find a little rock or you could use like a piece of plastic, but I highly suggest using something that's a natural material um, because personally, I think it's easier to connect energetically to it. So we have our little rock and what we're going to do is we're going to be putting our hand on a very flat surface, flat, 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 so it doesn't move. We're going to be placing the rock on our finger just so it, it it's not going to move, it's not going to fall, but if just you had the littlest like gust of wind, like if you blew on it, it would go over. Because when you usually first start, your chi isn't like crazy strong and it's not like you're going to be like pushing over cars or anything. It's, 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 it's little, it's a little force, you can build it up. And I'm sorry, I'm talking, so this is doing that. Um, but you can see it's, it, uh, but I'm not going to do it yet. But anyways, I haven't positioned it officially yet, but... So um, what we're gonna do to start is it's good to have already started with maybe having a meditation practice where you can practice moving your energy through your body and kind of know how energy feels. You kind of need to be at that step to kind of go on and this would be like the next step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first cultivate some chi energy. Um, you can do this any way you like. Um, Breath of Fire, I've heard people suggest, um, but I feel like this is kind of a really easy version of that where you're going to take 10, you're gonna first start rub your hands together, center yourself, kind of connect with your body's energy. And we're gonna take 10, I'm gonna have you take 10 deep breaths and I want you to take them like this, where you're breathing in, you wanna imagine you're breathing in chi, hard as you can, big as you can, and you're taking that chi, you're breathing it in and you're storing it in your solar plexus, which is like your body's energy center. So it's gonna, it's gonna be like this. I would suggest doing that at least 10 times. Do it for 30 if you're really trying to build up a lot of energy. And the, what we're gonna be doing with this energy we've created is you're going to imagine that you're, you're, you're still gonna do big breaths when you do this. You're gonna take a deep breath, you're gonna pull that chi into your solar plexus, then you're gonna transfer it through your arm and out of your hand. And so you wanna imagine and visualize that energy coming in and going through your body and out of your hand, right? Pretty easy, right? It just takes a little practice, a little visualization. Then we're gonna put your hand in flat, flat, flat. Um, and you wanna put the rock just so it, just like if you blew on it, it could come off, right? And so what you wanna do is you want to really mentally, I'm not gonna do it yet, but you wanna really mentally connect with the rock. Feel the rock's energy or the crystal. Feel it and connect with it. Next, after you're done placing it, I'd like you to, let me just make sure it's not gonna just fall off by itself because that would be the point of the video. <laughs> okay. Um, I want you to f put your hand near the rock and I want you to move it close to the rock, far away from the rock. I want you to really feel a connection, like a rope, like an energetic connection, like a line between you and the rock, right? So once you've kind of really felt the rock and felt, oh, I'm getting sweaty, really felt the rock and felt your connection with the rock, then you wanna place it just so, it's just on the tip of your finger. And the, again, the reason why we do it on the finger is because, and not the table, is because you're gonna actually feel when you're actually making the rock move. You're gonna actually feel those, those changes yourself. Okay, so it seems good, it's not gonna fall. So some people, like I said, you can just hold it and push, which, uh, which you can do. Um, but I actually think like it's easier to build it. So you want to imagine you're building energy coming out of your fingers, breathe in. In through your body, into your solar plexus, out your shoulder, out your hand. Okay, 
and uh, that's how it's done. Really easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be you can do it all the time in practice. And then eventually, after you film or practice, you can start doing it off like books and tables and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments.